Zom Slays, and this is Music Mondays. We are here live and in color. Um, we are on episode 13. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody had a good week. I hope I just hope everybody's well, man. I hope everybody's good. I am decent. Um, I had an alright week. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's get this shit started. My bad for the pause screen chat. Let me give y'all something to look at. Zidane coming in with the Instagram link, what we got. just watch that bro <laughs> no that's no that's so funny no that, that is absolutely gold that is absolutely fucking gold yep that's the game Tyler that is fucking hilarious holy fuck But yeah, shit, okay. Anyways, what's good, chat? This is Music Mondays, episode 13. We're here live and in color. We're chillin', we're chillin'. Um, we got a bunch of shit uh, to discuss today. We got reviews. We got a couple of different subjects. Um, I tweet the stream out as well. But yeah. We got some good shit today. And like I said earlier, I hope everybody's weak as well. hope everybody's doing good. You guys know the drill. Um, episode 12 is also available on YouTube. Um, if you missed it last week, peep that. Um, if you have any suggestions, um, tell me in the comments section. If you want to submit music or your art or anything like that, um, send it to Music Mondays or myself. Or you can even drop it in the comments section. I don't know. Doesn't matter how you get it to me, just get it to me. But yeah, let's do this chat. So, how's everybody? We got some fucking interesting topics. I want to start off light and say fucking R.I.P. my boy Ben Askren. Got murdered on... <laughs> on live pay-per-view. And... That's all I'm gonna say, that's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore, so yeah. R.I.P. Ben. R.I.P. Benny boy. Didn't watch it. Didn't plan on watching it. Just wanted to see the results. And I was not pleased. Just, just was not pleased. <laughs> Holy shit. I did see Tyrone Woodley though. I saw some shit. That he tweeted, uh... I think it was like that night or some shit. It was fucking hilarious, though. It was so good. <laughs> like, dead. <laughs> no cap. Like, I killed him. He's dead now. No, he he literally is. Like, that's why I kind of wanted him to win, like, so bad. As opposed to, like, really, like, count him out. Because 
I knew if he lost, bro, he's not coming back from that. His career is fucking dead. It's never, it's never gonna be shit. And that's it. Oh shit, what's good, bananas? But yeah, just wanted to say that. Tyrone versus Jake next. Yo, if if Tyrone gets that. He'll definitely, like, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Tyrone would fucking destroy him. Like, bro, Ben was already retired. That basketball player is a fucking pussy. Like, like, let's be real here. Let's, let's get, like, weight classes going. Let's get, like, real fighters in this bitch. And I would like to see a good fight. Not a first round knockout. To a fucking old man that literally hasn't fought in I don't know how long. But like if if there was going to be any no name to beat Jake, it definitely would have been him. Cause what? Ben's not relevant anymore. So yeah. Rip Ben. Fuck Jake. He'll get his. He'll get his. That's for facts. But alright, boys. Dan Chat and everybody in between. Let's talk about um, influencers. Now, um, we're not going to talk about specific, like, by name influencers. I just want to talk about the term influencers. And, um, it's based on this little thought that I had the other night. And I was just scrolling Instagram, like, after I got off stream and yada, yada, yada. And I was thinking, um, you know, just browsing profiles and all that other shit. And I was thinking, yo, half of these people that, like, claim social media like is their like career and like and like that's like what they do i thought to myself wait a minute like like these people like aren't actually like creating or doing anything like like the term influencer was coined to people that like i don't know i guess like put on for other people like whether it be like their music their fashion their art whatever whatever right but like as an influencer Overall, you're just, like, forever, like, putting on other people's products and, like, nothing you ever put out is genuine. Like, like, what exactly are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Like, what exactly are you doing with that? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure as to how I would feel, right? If I was, like, somebody with, like, 200k, 300k, million followers on any platform and... I thought I was like a social media guru and I was like an influencer, but like I didn't actually create anything tangible of my own. You feel me? Yo, it's good boy. Hope you're well. Like I didn't actually create anything of my own. Like I'm just forever like wearing other people's clothes, like listening to other people's music, like hanging other people's art in my house. And and like some people might be okay with that. Like it's just like what is your talent though? Like like what the fuck is your skill? Like, like, I'm just confused on it. Like, it's sort of like the same thing with TikTokers, right? How TikTokers just kind of, like, get famous, like, off of, like, a 10-second snippet of a song. Or, like, they'll get famous, like, doing, like, a fucking, uh, a TikTok dance. And then, like, a year later, they're, like, making music of their own. Or they're, like, starting a fashion line or something like that. Because they realize they're, like, shit. I'm not really, like doing anything am i like my career on social media like if that's what you want to call it will forever be like clouded by other people's shit like it's never going to be yours it's not going to be your music it's not going to be your clothes it's not going to be your anything and i thought about that and i was like holy shit like these people must be really fucking shallow or like just don't really care about like art in itself you know what i mean like because like last week i had like or I don't think it was last week, maybe it was like the week before, 
I had like the discussion about how like people think art like isn't supposed to make money, and I thought that was the dumbest shit in the fucking world. And um, if you're there for that, shout out to you. But this week I thought about how like some of these people just kind of like say that like their career is social media, and that's just really it. And it kind of blows my mind, and I'm just like, how how the fuck? Like, what do you like like okay like say marketing is your thing right like are you going to be able to go into like a professional fucking company and be like yeah i have this many experience in marketing or i have this resume to show no fuck no you can't so like it's 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 like the definition of like a made-up job you know what i mean like they're they're really not creating anything and like it's really no shade to any of them because they have it made like they literally have it made, and I don't think they, like, either really care, or the ones that do care eventually, like, start creating shit of their own. So, it's just like, hmm. I don't know, it kind of got me thinking the other day. And it, like, fucked me up for a second, you know? I was like, huh. I kind of had to, like, take a step back and, like, really think about that. And I was like, damn, these people, like, really don't do anything. Like, no, no nothing. Nothing of their own, anyway. Like, it's so hard to describe, because it's, like, even hard to describe, like, over text. You know what I mean? Like, it's so weird. It's so weird. And it's, like, it, like I don't want to say it's, like, a bad thing or anything like that. Like, it's not, it's not, like, an overall, like, negative, toxic thing, right? Because, like, they just kind of, like, share other people's product to their audience that may not have, like, that audience. Which is fine. You know what I mean? Like, that's fine. Like, I think, I think that's really beneficial. But, like, at the same time, it's, like, as an influencer, like... You, like, I, I don't know. Like, you can't just, like, get a bunch of followers and look good and expect that shit to, like... I don't know, like, just, like, work for you. Where the automatic nose mini was at? Bro, I just, I just ignore it now. I just fucking ignore it, bro. Look at this shit. Th like, that, like, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That, right there. That's literally what I'm talking about. It's pain. Yep. I'm literally not, I, I'm not even holding my controller. But yeah, anyways, um, social media influencers are kind of bullshit in a way. And I don't think anybody should take them that serious. Like, if you ever did and, like, got so worried and, like, kind of, like, not jealous or, like, just, like, wondered how they do it or anything like that. Bro, they don't do anything. Like, like it finally, like, fit together in my head the other night. And I was just like, bro, these people, like, really aren't shit. Like, to keep it a buck. I didn't know that was a fucking pole. So, if you're a person out there that was worried about, like, what an influencer is doing, or, like, fucking that shit, like, made you feel like shit, don't worry about it. Because 90% of them, unless they're, like, outright telling you that they create anything, like, from music to literally anything, it, it could fucking literally be anything. Why do people even follow these TikTokers that just dance to songs? Mm. A majority of it's based on their looks. Like, the majority of it. And that's just the truth. Like, that goes for both sides of the coin as well. Like, guys and girls. Like, guys eat that shit up for girls, and girls eat that shit up for guys. You know what I mean? Like, same way. And it's just like... A form of like, mm, I'm gonna be gentle with my words here. It's, it's just another form of social media, to be honest. Like, it's just easy to blow up on TikTok because it's just a bunch of fucking ten-year-olds using it. It's really all it is. 
just looks like my sister, so no. Yeah, that's a big no from Bananas. <laughs> Hey, Tyler, this is an English-only chat, bro. You want to try that one again? Like, I, I, I'm having a stroke reading that. But regardless, um, the app blew up. And it blew up for, like, sort of a good reason because it did what Triller couldn't really do. And it targeted, like, a young and, like, impressionable audience. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, over 75% of the people that use TikTok are, like, 18 or below. Like, I'm pretty sure, bro. Like, like and it's, that's just a crazy fucking, like, statistic. Like, and then the rest of them are, like, 25 and above type shit. Like, my, um... My age group and my demographic really does not fuck with TikTok. It's weird. So, at the end of the day, like, it's the same as following, like, any, like, pretty actress or this or this or that. And they just look good. Like, and they're doing TikTok shit because not a lot of people have the balls to do that. Like, as corny and cringe as it is, like... It fucking really, really, uh, really gets cringe. But at the end of the day, like, a lot of people don't even have the balls to stand up in front of class or, like, five people. So what, you think they're going to record a video and post it on TikTok? So they follow these people, they get infatuated thinking that they're doing something that they can't. When in reality, they just don't have the balls or they just don't have the guts or they just don't have this or this or this or they don't look as good. But in reality, like, they're no different from you, and they literally don't do a fucking thing. And that's really what this whole, like, topic was about, because I was like, damn, like, half these influencers really aren't shit. I was like, holy fuck. And, like, I know, like, 50 good creators that actually do shit and that are so talented that, um, if given the right, um, audience, could thrive. You know what I mean? Like, literally thrive. Dude, it's fucking annoying. But, regardless, it's it's interesting because people let it get into their head. And, like, you just can't let it get into your fucking head. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even really focus on it up until, like, I start thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I haven't thought about that in a minute. And then, like, I'll just be, like, really stoned, like, just, like, reading whatever, whatever. And then it'll just occur to me. And that's what I thought about. So the next time you're fucking scrolling, thinking, what does this girl have that I don't? What does this guy have that I don't? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> you probably have more to keep it a buck with you. So that's that on that. I didn't want to uh, dwell too long on that um, <laughs> little little topic of conversation I had there because yeah it's an interesting one like some of them like do have good content though like that's the thing that gets swallowed up in that is like those people that go viral and like have like these million and billion fucking views and all this other bullshit right like, there are some people on TikTok that create, like, genuinely funny content that could be comedians, that could be, you know, like, remember how, like, Instagram skits was, like, a thing for, like, so long, and, like, when, like, Boonk was on Instagram, and Boonk was doing a bunch of skit shit, like, that's the type of shit that's on TikTok now, and some of those people are actually fucking comedy. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck, like, like some of those people are actually kind of funny. But, like, they get drowned out by, like, all of the people who fucking um just go viral because they look good. And I'm not fucking hating. I sound like a fucking hater too, right? Cuz it's just like are you you're just viral cuz you look good. But that's the truth. People are like, look, 
I like pretty girls just as much, like literally just as much as as uh, the next guy. Okay, legit. I like looking at them too. I'm a fucking guy. Okay, but at the end of the day, um, that's not all there is, you know. And the world likes to complain about standards and shit, but it's just like the world creates those standards, like, cause look at TikTok, like, ninety percent of those people aren't shit. But everybody thirsts over them like they're like the be all end all. And this it's not even like anybody like specific either, it's just like a bunch of people really. But if you're an influencer who doesn't care about making your own art and like purely just wants to be an influencer then do you like use your whatever and influence people i guess quote unquote because it's like when you think of a model right like they model clothes you know like an influencer is such like a broad term like what are you know what the fuck are you influencing like that's just a bunch of horseshit you're just influencing whatever fucking comes in your email that day that's really all that is. You're like, shit, I checked my email. This, this seems kind of fire. This will be like five bands. Word, word. Make an Instagram post. Oh, yeah. And 90% of them, that's the thing. 90% of the influencers, bro. Legit 90% of them, bro. Literally, like, every time you watch one of those videos and they're, like, trying to, like, sponsor a product, bro, like, the, like they can't speak for shit. They're stumbling over their words. They're fucking, like, awkward as shit. And it's just like, bro, I thought you were an influencer, bro. And it's just, like, they get in front of a phone camera and they can't even be like, hey, buy this fucking drink or this fucking something, you know? Bananas, you should model. I'm a model, too. We're all gonna be models. Model influencers. <laughs> right chat model influencers are we are we prepared for this i'm prepared for this nice my thick ass thighs <laughs> That shit's annoying. But yeah, man. Influencers, love them. And I'm questioning them at the same time. I'd say no problemo. Oh, yeah, facts. Big facts. Like, that's the thing. Like, me being from the music side, right, Void? Like, it's funny you bring that up because it's like... We've seen a few songs here and there, like, blow up more on TikTok than they have anywhere else. Because you can literally just hit up one of those weirdos, have them make a dance to it if, like, it's, like, a real song that's, like, you feel like could fucking, like, get some traction. Um, you can literally hit one of those little weirdos up and be like, yo, let's fucking do this, that, and the third and promote the shit out of this. And there's your fucking viral hit. Like, I'm pretty sure it's happened. I'm pretty sure it's literally happened. So, like, it's not all bad, you know? Like, us smaller creators do eat out of it, you know? So, it's, it, you know, like, them getting sort of like a free pass, not really, kind of helps us in a way. So, it's not all bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it, it seems kind of like, you know, um, you know, closed book, you know, that's just how it is type shit. But if you really get into the details of the shit... Um, they do help in certain ways. Not all, like, uh, like overall, <laughs> but in certain ways, for sure. But I don't know, man. Like, shit. They gotta eat too, you know? And if they just go viral by, like, being who they are. Like, 
can't really hate on that, I guess, you know? Because it's like shit. <laughs> what you could do? But that's also why you can just take that as not as like, like you can't be a hater. You gotta let that shit motivate you and be like, okay, like where's my free pass? Like, like where's my like currency in life? You know what I mean? Like, what am I mad good at that like, um, I can use to my advantage? You know? Like, don't look at it as like they get a free pass because they look good. Look at it as like, where's mine at? Like, like what can I apply in my life? Where can I search in my life to find some shit where? okay, this is going to get me somewhere and it's not going to, like, really kill me to do it. It's not going to be a 9 to 5, you know? So, I don't know. Much to think about there. You guys decide. And, and if you're watching this on YouTube by Friday, please, um... Sound off. Let me know. Dislike. Say zombie, you're a piece of shit. Say you're wrong. Say zombie, you speaking facts. <coughs> I don't care. <coughs> Let me know. Let <coughs> me know. We got like four songs to get to, uh. Z <laughs> what? Facts. Zom speaks facts. Yo, we got all the fucking commands in this bitch. Um, yeah, now you have to go comment on the YouTube video, Bananas, and be like, Zom, you're a scumbag. Influencers changed my life. Dude, I, I, I'm just, I, I, okay, chat, side note, um, I went to go load up GTA San Andreas today, and I think they took it off the Xbox store. Which is kind of annoying. Which is why I was like, bro, I'm just fucking stuck here with, like, Skate 3. Because, like, what was I going to do? Download GTA 5 in, like, two minutes? It was not happening. But, yeah, they took off GTA San Andreas um, off the Xbox store for whatever fucking reason. I don't know why. Thief sim? What about GTA 4? Uh, uh... Yeah, no, I didn't have time to download it. That's what I was saying. Because I was going to download San Andreas because it's only like 6 gigs. But like, what the fuck? I was not going to download fucking GTA in like fucking 10 minutes. But yeah, what, uh, what, um, Thief Sim? Does the Xbox store have it? This is where like the one, or this is like the first or second, um, episode of Music Mondays was at, right here. <laughs> How do you know? It'd be like me play Beat Saber. Just, just VR it up. Yo, it's good encryption. Ow. I hope you will, my friend. Alright, we're approaching the 30 minute portion. We're about to vibe out. Okay, boys in chat, let's do this. Can play some crazy shit on VR. No cap. Alright chat, um, before I get into my toe itches, hit that, I mean, hit that shit, I mean, 
it's that shit. But I mean, I guess hitting would work too. Uh, <laughs> before I get into these reviews, um, I wanted to mention um, one thing, which I'll probably tweet out on Music Mondays and yada yada yada. But um, artists and creatives who are sending me links in their art, um, I don't really have any requirements as to what you send me. It can be old or new. That's not really um, an issue. What I do have sort of an issue with is if like um, like you send the same thing twice. Um, try not to do that because that just means you're kind of like you know you're not really paying attention as to what you're tweeting or you're just kind of like mindlessly like spitting links at people and i know that it's not like that big of a deal but at the end of the day like that's some shit i saw in 2018 underground like heavily as to where people would just like really just like put links in your dm like yo check this out yo check this out yo check this out and then like the next week they'd be like yo check this out like yo check this out and it'd be the same fucking link bro like you can't do that you can't do that um you at least gotta show effort to at least pay attention to what you're doing man it's it's not it's not that hard so yeah that's the only requirement um no double submissions please 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 i beg of you but um we have about uh three no no yeah yeah we have three songs we have three songs to review today um the first track is actually mm, top five best on music mondays i've ever reviewed when i played this earlier i was like holy shit um it's from an artist known as spendo and i believe he's from california i believe that's what his twitter bio said uh he's from california but um, the track's name is foreign to me. I'm going to link it in chat before I start talking about it. Um, this is Spendo. Um, he submitted this um, song called Foreign to Me. And legit right off the bat, um, new age hip hop with a super, super bouncy beat. Um... Think of like old school hip hop, but like newer, um, but with sort of like uh, a new instrumental take. Um, just straight bars filled with a hook that's perfect um, for the type of beat that this was on. I really enjoyed this song, to be honest. Um, you don't really come across too many tracks like this. Uh, Spendo did a really, really good job on this song. You can tell he really uh, took his time with this. Uh, the cadence is great, of course. 10 out of 10 on the cadence. Um, overall, I just really like this track, bro. Like, it's got probably about, like, 16-bar verses or so. And it's got a really, really good hook. Like, the hook's really good. And it's sort of like... I think it's a really good take on, like, OG hip-hop in 2021. And, um... I'd like to see more of this. I'd, I'd really like to see more of this. I really enjoyed this. So, um, shout out you, Spendo, for submitting that song to me. Um, check out Spendo. He'll be linked in the description of the YouTube video. And, of course, he's in Twitch chat currently now. But, um, yeah. Spendo, foreign to me. 10 out of 10. Thank you for submitting, my friend. Much love. Now, this next song that I had, um... This is easily, I don't know if it's the best song, but um, it's 100% one of the best songs I have ever, ever um, been submitted to me, 100%. Um, and I also noticed that this artist uh, was from South Africa as well. Um, I think it was last week I had Samego submit a song, and uh, he was from... South Africa as well, so shout out uh all the love from Africa, man. Like that's just that's just amazing. But this song is called Black Sheep. Um the artist name is D Man. 
But uh, he linked me his whole EP, uh, which I didn't really have time to go through. So I listened to the first song, and it was called Black Sheep. And I, I think I made the right choice. I don't know if this is the best song on this EP. But um, before <laughs> before I uh, I talk about this, um, you guys need to hear that. And uh, of course, he'll be linked in the description of the YouTube video as well. But um. Wow, 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 holy shit. Okay, so first of all, I was looking at my phone when I played this song, Black Sheep, um, and the beat instantly made my head kind of look up. I was like, what the fuck is this? And the beat's a 10 out of 10. It's really, really mixed well. Um, and it really was just fucking crazy as soon as these vocals hit, bro. Like, I didn't have anywhere to start when I wanted to write down a few words about this song and just and just go to my notes, man. Like... This song, Black Sheep, might be, like I said, might be, I don't know if it is, but it might be one of the best songs I have never heard that has been submitted on Music Mondays, bar none. That song, Black Sheep, bro, like, this is why I do this. This is why I do this, because I've never heard um, of this artist at all. B is 10 out of 10. The vocals from D-Man sound perfect. Lyrics are great, of course, as well. Hook is great. Um, it's, it's just an overall bop. Uh, you could easily hear this on the radio. You could hear this in a club. You could 100% slam this in your car. Um, this is a song where I could really see a lot of potential in this. Um, so shout out South Africa, shout out D-Man, and go check out Black Sheep for sure. Like, I don't need to say anything more about that, without a doubt. Much love, my friend. Thank you for the submission. God, that track is fucking lit. That track is good shit. Bro, it's not available in my country. What country are you from again, Void? And Christian, this is uh, Music Mondays. You can go check out uh, the playlist on YouTube if you... Um If you don't know. Mm. Yeah, sometimes Spotify could be really weird. Spotify could definitely be really weird with that. Shit, we're gonna have to let Spendo know. Spendo, you're gonna need uh you need your songs in all countries and, and everything everywhere. But um yeah man, shout out those last two submissions. Fucking fire. And, um, my last submission of the night is from an artist who has submitted to us before by the name of Shantae Vertrice. She's from New York. She's a wonderful, uh, hip-hop trap artist. She makes absolutely fucking fire. Uh, she dropped a song on, I think it was last week or so. Um, and it's sort of 420 themed in time for tomorrow, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, it's called Elevated. Um, let me link this to you really quick. And, of course, um, it'll be linked in the description as well. Um, but my initial thoughts um, with this song Shantae submitted uh, called Elevated. Great hook, as expected, because uh, the last song she submitted was 10 out of 10 as well. Um, the harmonies and the cadence on the hook. 10 out of 10. Um, I really enjoyed this. Like, I, I, I think she spent a lot of time on the hook, and it worked. I enjoyed this. It sounds really well as as, as well. Um, lyrics are dope, as always. Um, second verse in particular really stood out to me. Um, the song kind of makes you make, like, that stank face, like, where you hear, like, a really good beat or some shit, and it's just like, ooh, damn. Like, that's, that's that kind of shit. Like, once again, she comes in with, like, that real good New York flow. So... I always enjoy her shit, bro. Um, mixed really well, like I said, of course. Um, second verse, super fire. And um, the thing about the second verse is it ends the track off on a really good note. Like, she didn't, like, swap those two verses out or anything like that. She sort of started off light, and then the second verse is just, like, perfect. Like, literally perfect. Um, like I said, 10 out of 10 track from Shantae. Um, I can't wait to hear with what she comes up with next, man. Like, you know you'll be hearing about it on Music Monday, so... Shout out to her. Shout out New York. Um, much love, my friend. Thank you. Tom, you should be more critical. 
Yeah. Um, that's not really, like, the point. Like, artists need uh, more enthusiasm and more encouragement. Like, if I wanted to lie to them, I'd just fucking gas all of them and all that other shit. But they know what their flaws are. They know what they need to work on. Like, every song should be like D-Man, but they know what they need to do. Not everybody has the proper equipment. Not everybody has the proper everything in the underground. Like, the fact that they're even submitting and trying to, like, get their tracks heard is good enough. But if it's trash, and I tell you it's trash, and you get fucking butt hurt with me, that's when we have a problem. That's when we have an issue. Because the last time I told somebody it was trash, they seem to send whoever the fuck was defending them in my YouTube comments and them and Sunburn went at it for like probably an hour. Like arguing about whether this dude's music is trash or not. And it's just like my guy, like I don't I don't have a problem like saying your shit is dog watered and like that's not even what I said. Like fix your flows, fix your this, fix your that. The usual work on your mixing, work on your fucking like dog. You, like not every song is top tier. And this guy was like I was being nice. Like, I was being genuinely fucking nice as to what, uh, what he needed to work on, and he wasn't even having that. Right, 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 right. Every other, like, like, see, in addition to what Banana said, that would be like me talking, like, all my music's A1. Like, you could go dig up my music from 2017. My shit's dog water, too. Like, people are either going to know there's, their music's in the right direction or it's not in the right direction. Like, that's all they need to know. And keep going. That's it. Keep going. Because, like, wow. You want to see what I've been submitted before? This is the kind of shit I'm talking about, bro. Like, these are the kind of people you try to tell, like, you know, like, work on your this, work on your that, you know what I mean? Like, you can't openly roast somebody, but you can't fucking lie to them either. So they got something to fucking work on. Psh. You gotta work on it, Chief. Right, but Void, not every single song needs to be critiqued. You know what I mean? It's it's not to rip everybody apart. Like, like this isn't some, like, studio session. You know what I mean? Like, it's for promotion. It's, it's like, these people don't even have a thousand followers. Like... You know what I mean? Like, like these are very low valuable people. Like, like them submitting to my brand new blog is already good enough to them, which tells me they have zero to no exposure, like none. So, like, I don't want to be critiquing their shit already when they're just like, you know, everybody's trying to get their feet wet, bro. But listen to that song. That's what I've been submitted before. Like. And you could only imagine how gentle I was with this douchebag. And then he sent somebody in my fucking YouTube comments to try to roast me. And I was like, bro. Bro. Yeah, Void. Like, you thought I was kidding, bro. You thought I was kidding, dog. You you see what I'm saying now? You see what I'm saying? When there's people out there like that, it makes my guys look A1. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's shit like that out there. You know? Like... Bro, bro, 
not only did he think it was good enough to publish, bro, th there's like a whole library of that shit. There's literally, he's got like a whole YouTube page filled with that shit. And all I tried to tell him was like, bro, like you got to work on your mix. You got to work on your flows and br yeah, right. Like his mix is literally awful. Like, and I didn't even say that, you know what I mean? I told him what to work on and, um, like 20 minutes later I got, um, some angry asshole in like my fucking, um, YouTube comments. And, like, that's the result of, like, roasting somebody. So don't worry, Void. If if, if I feel like um, any of these tracks are the bottom of the barrel, it'll be known. <laughs> Believe me, it'll be known. I promise. But when there's people like that out there that, like, look for guidance and then get mad when they don't hear what they want to hear, you kind of got to have respect for the people that do put all their effort into it and kind of are trying, you know what I mean? And you also have to differentiate, you know, like, is it for you or is it bad? Because there's a lot of that. There's a lot of people who call music bad because they don't like it. They're like, oh, this isn't for me. This is dog shit. This isn't for me. I wouldn't really listen to it. That's the other thing. Like, you got to really take yourself out of that equation. And that's why I'm good for the job. Because it's like, I actually make music. And that was the original problem with a lot of like the people who do these live music reviews and do um the live reactions and shit like that is because they'll literally charge they'll they'll do this they'll do that and nine times out of ten they'll be giving advice and they won't even fucking make music they won't even know what it's like to sit in the studio for hours they won't even know what it's like to track vocals over and over again they won't even know what it's like to get a shit mix over and over again so what could you possibly know? Fucking Patrick CC, fucking this one, that one. Bro, the list goes on. There's a whole shit bucket filled with people on YouTube and on Twitter and everywhere that try to do these fake ass reviews that have never been in the studio a day in their life. Or at the very least, they've sat in the studio and think they know how a song is fucking made. Like, that's, that's really the issue. But, like, that's, like, a whole rabbit hole in itself, you know? My respect to you? No, of course, Word, of course. My respect to you, homie. You always fuck with Music Monday, so I try to give you, like, an insight, you know? Some of these clothes might are kind of litty. Yeah, of course. Your grandma. F Grandma's always hook it up. If your grandma doesn't hook it up, then she just loves you in different ways. Gang. But, yeah, Void, I, uh... I always try to keep it a buck, and, um, once my setup's set up, um, basically I I'm just ironing out audio quality and visual quality, like, I want to bring you guys the same stream that we have now, you know what I mean, and I need to make sure that that's proper, so, once my stream upgrade is fucking dialed in, bro, we're good to go, we're good to go, Music Mondays is gonna be a whole new leaf, you know, but until then, um, we're just doing, like, sort of critical, sort of, like, you know, Decent, decent shout outs to people, you know, to people that deserve it, to people that are, oh, okay, fine, you know, this, this little underground artist doing his thing, like, let's fucking, um, let's give him a shout out, let's link his socials, let's promote him for a week, and, you know, they drop another song, they come back, and then, um, with me launching all the social medias, the SoundCloud, the whole deal, I can start doing SoundCloud playlists, and then people could start listening to, like, the whole playlist, Straight to the ground for being a bully. Two L's. I see you, son. But yeah. So shit. All right, we got ten, ten fucking minutes. We got, we got everybody in here. I don't want to end the show yet, so we got ten minutes um, before I switch to zombies. So, what do we got for questions? What do we got for requests for next week? What do we got? Lay it on me. What's good, bird? How you doing, baby? My guy's amazingly unhappy birthday song. What? I finished the rev game. How'd it go? Or better yet, how do you feel? Two 
Two five five is hard. Let's go. Let's fucking go, bird. W. Congratulations, homie. That's heat. Even though it's like you know, you know, another rev game on the board, but still, still sick. That's a W. I'm hungry for more. Are you serious? You're a sick fuck. This guy's a sick fucking individual. You guys hearing this? 255 on rev. This motherfucker says, I want to do it again. What a freak. Are you going to do it on rev? Or like, you mean like another? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I could see you doing like Deriza Drock or something. I don't saw Rev as soon as I was done. Fucking W. I had a feeling you'd do that. And you told me you would. And it's done. It's gone. Got the screenshot dipped. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, chat. Since we ain't got no questions, um, next week we'll be live for episode 14. Um, the goal for this week is to uh, get all my audio and visual settings, you know, squared away. So, um, Hopefully by the next time you see me live for episode 14, uh, we will be in a new setup. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, but yeah, thank you guys for chilling. Thank all you guys for chilling. I'll be live in uh, not even five minutes with zombies. I'll be playing BO3. You guys on the drill. Um, if you'd like to submit music, art, creations, you have any questions, you have any subjects you'd like me to speak on, um, send them to my DM. Send them to Music Monday's DM. Um, you can drop them in the YouTube comments. Uh, this rebroadcast will be available on YouTube on Friday. Um, yeah, I think that's it, chat. Um, all submissions, Music Mondays or myself. Um, follow Music Mondays at All Music Mondays on all platforms. Um, and I'll be live in 10 minutes, chat, so not even 10 minutes. So you guys don't have to worry about me. I'm not tipping. But um, that's going to be it for Music Mondays. It's been Zomb Slays, and I'll see you guys next fudging week.